After the LEGO Ninjago movie, Sons of Garmadon was bound to be a very controversial wave among LEGO fans. Some love it, and some hate it, but which sets are the best? Today, we're going to be ranking the LEGO Ninjago 2018 sets. A lot of people really like Hillow vs Samurai X, but I just don't see why. The new Samurai X mech looks absolutely terrible to me. The legs have no knee articulation, which is fairly common in LEGO mechs, but the legs also suffer from limited ankle articulation, being barely able to move back and forth and really only moving side to side. The saw in the mech just also looks stupid, but the double stud shooters are good, and I like the swords on the back. The motorcycle just looks dumb. While I appreciate the attempt to make it unique, the use of the saw in the front looks awful, and the fact that it's one of the few red parts on the entire bike doesn't help it out either. The asymmetricality with the blades doesn't work for me either, but the new big fig looks cool, as well as Jay, but Samurai X appears to suffer from the same problem as Lady Iron Dragon or Misako, but worse since they're printing a white face on a black head. Thankfully, this set does have a good price per part ratio, coming in at only $50 with over 600 pieces, which helps this set stay okay. The new Spinjitsu Masters is a new take on the original Spitter concept back from 2011, and while I don't think it's quite as good as the original, I do think it's a good new idea. And while I don't like the new minifigures as much as the NRG or Airjitsu versions, I do like how they are included in an exclusive version in each set, and I do like the playability that these sets offer. And coming in at only $10, these are nice little starter sets, and they are nice little cheap ways to get each of the ninja. The Sons of Garmadon Headquarters is an interesting set. The set primarily focuses on using the Spinjitzu Masters gimmick to combat villains, but the build itself is all over the place, but it is packed with play features as a result. Plus, the set actually manages to look decent, and at $40 is another good price per part ratio, making the set a fairly solid deal. The Snake Race of Jaguar is yet another double bike set from Ninjago. However, I think this one could very well be the best one. Zane's bike looks really cool featuring retractable blades, and I like how the front features design very similar to his mech from the Titan Mech Battle. On the other hand, the villain bike may be even better, fixing everything I disliked about Killa's bike and adding retractable blades to combat Zane. And while this set has a pretty average price per part ratio of being $30 and being a little more expensive than I would like it to be, this set still manages to impress me. Temple of Resurrection is a set which suffers from its play features. The temple had to be very carefully constructed in order to make the transformation feature work, and while this feature is actually really cool, it doesn't pay off for me in terms of appearance. In my opinion, this is easily one of the worst Ninjago temples we've ever gotten, and while this largely has to do with the high standards set by the previous sets, that will not go unnoticed. However, this set does include 7 minifigures, 8 if you count the skeleton, and a baby, and once again has a good price per part ratio. So while I don't think this is a bad set, it's definitely not the best of the wave. Kai's Katana V11 is the smallest of the main sets from the wave, but one of the best in my opinion. The shaping and the integration of play features works great on this set, and the idea of a boat feels fresh compared to the typical vehicles we get from Ninjago. In addition, the villain does have a small bike to combat Kai, which helps balance the set out, and for $20, the set easily impresses. And the best set of this wave, in our opinion, is the Ninja Nightcrawler, featuring two retractable six stud shooters, a bike for the villain, as well as some cool dragon detailing, the set is able to edge out the Katana V11, and although it does feel kind of similar to the X1 Ninja Charger in some aspects, I feel this set has the most to offer all around out of all of the sets from this wave. And that was our ranking of the LEGO Ninjago 2018 sets. If you guys disagree with us, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will, feel free to leave your own list in the comment section below. And that is it, until next time, I'll see you guys later.